What's up YouTube, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Nerds 3 here, and I have a budget deck profile for you guys. A few things I want to mention about these deck profiles, whenever I do my deck profiles, I can't use a card that I don't have, so yeah. And I don't run like those uh, super meta cards like Tour Guide or anything, because I just don't like them usually. I find them that they're the, just a piss poor choice, because just like puts, n it like proves you're a total noob at the game if you just like use all like super meta cards. No offense to you guys, but still. You guys just use those cards and you're just following the rules and everything. You're just like, yeah, I know that you're going to cost 80 bucks for a card, but yeah. <sighs> but well, yeah. And also, if I don't have a card, I can't use it, as you know. These are basically engineered at players. Like, they're not looking at play, like, for, like, in tournaments and stuff. These are basically, like, for players that want to just play for fun. Just like Moratic decks. I guarantee you I can beat most people I play against with them. And they're fun to play as all hell. That's why I run it. That's why I play it. What's the point of playing a game if you're not going to have fun, right? But yeah, here's the video. It's my Christmas special sort of thing. As you can see, I'm using my newest mat. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Nerds 3 mat. Let's see, let me zoom out a bit. See, I have my logo and everything now. I made this. And it's really crappy looking, but still. Blue eyes in the background. <coughs> but yeah. I had uh, somebody a while back, back when I was going to go 3, they wanted me to do a deck profile around the card Trent, which is one of the worst cards you can see. I made an alternate art of it, as you can see right there. It's like a Christmas tree. It's 5 star, 1500 attack, 1800 defense from Ma Magic Ruler, but still I made it for you guys. I took you so long, but I didn't really want to do it first, but still I basically broke the rules by, this by slapping it into one of my decks. My one advice is if you actually are desperate enough to use this card, then get some new cards. Because this card is just plainly horrible. I'd say it's one of the worst cards, if not the worst card in the game. So yeah, let's get started. I run two of those Trents, just so I can draw one. Basically, uh, yeah, okay. X3 Natria Marins. Three Icornos. Two Pine Konos. Sweet Corn, just such a corny card. I never thought I'd use it because it's that corny. No bad puns. Uh, Eco Mystical Spirit of the Forest, cool looking card. Quakimaro Gravy Rose, just because it can get it really easy. Uh, Gigantix Cephalitus, Hedge Guard. Uh, Nettles, Coffee Plant, Puppet Plant. Uh, one Spore, because yeah. Two ragweeds, easy to get from the hidden arsenals. All the halls, basically, their special editions are hidden arsenals, yeah. Three strawberries. Pineapple from the special edition hidden arsenal. Ladybug. Mantis. Butterfly. Stag beetle. Beans. Uh, homogeneous alchemy beating. Okay, these ones are from the tins, but... Rosaria, stately fallen. And two falling... Fallen Angels of Roses. I'm not going to explain deck really, I'm just going to go through it. Barkion's Bark, uh, Leo Drake's Main, Terraforming to get the spell spells, one for one. Uh, giant True Nade, I'm not sure if it's banned or anything anymore, but yeah. Battle Tuned, Double Wonder Trees, uh, Miracle Fertilizers, uh, Spiritual Force, and the one. Uh, card I have for field is the seal of Orikaka. It's just because it's the seal. Who doesn't love this card? It's just, yeah. Just booster attack, basically. And then Sakuretsu, Acid Trap Pole, and Sinister Seeds. It's time for the extra deck. Just let me grab it. Okay. Yeah, this is just my extra deck. You don't have to take these cards or anything. You can pick whatever you want for your deck. But yeah. This is less than budget. Uh, Shining Elf. Baby Dragon, because of all the rank level ones you have in there. Soul of Silver Mountain. Leviathan. Utopia. Kachikochi. Zen Mains. It's my personal preference. I throw it in every deck, but you don't have to. Crystal, uh, Gromley, Crystal Krogonat. That's like the card a lot. Uh, it's another one that you don't need to throw. It's a bit expensive, but still. Like a Cowboy. Paplop to finally got that card. Uh, and then here's the Synchros I run. Landois, don't have the other ones for uh, Leo Drake. 
Scrap Dragon, you don't need to run that, it's just I personally love this card. Uh, Scrap, uh, Stardust, and Queen of Thorns. Yeah, this is my deck. You basically can edit it whatever you want, if you like it or not. Don't bitch about like it not being like a meta deck. I know it's not meta. And yeah, because I don't like meta decks, honestly. I'd rather play with my Ojama deck against my friends and play, uh, I don't know, like an Insector deck because it's more fun playing non-meta decks, honestly. Like seeing what the hell that people are going to pull out. Like, let me think what my friends play. One plays a Dark Magician deck. One plays just a Fiend deck. One plays a Morthronic Pyro deck. Uh, this one's a bit stretching, but one plays a Nordic deck, uh, one plays just random decks, but literally I have 15 different decks I, like, just swap in between, like, try every single deck. Uh, and yeah, a happy holidays to all, and to all a Merry Christmas, and, uh, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a ball fucking humbug. You get nerd three here, as you can see by the logo. Signing out.